Okay, so before we go on with exercise 14D, I wanted to talk about how you can do these things with your calculators, because so far, all of our answers have pretty much been nice numbers, 2, 4, 5, 3, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 3, minus 4, they've all been integers, really. So we want to see what these actually look like on the calculator. Now, there are three buttons on your calculator for computing logs. OK, you need to know this button that we've got here, which is where there's a blank space for the base and a blank space for the input into that function. My one is up here. OK, I think it's going to be similar in most people's calculators. So let's just think about what this one is actually asking for us to begin with. So let's talk about log base three of seven. We're actually saying the power of three that gives me seven. We're trying to say, what is this power going to be? Now, we can't guess that because there isn't, um, we don't know three to the power of what gives me seven. Well, I do know that three to the power of one gives me three and three to the power of two gives me nine. So I think that this log base three of seven, I think it's going to be somewhere in between one and two because seven is in between three and nine. So let's actually see what the answer is when we do log base three of seven. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna type in there, the base is three, and I'm gonna put the input is seven, and we get that it's 1.77. So the answer is 1.77, and I've done that to two decimal places. So this is actually saying that three to the power of 1.77 is going to be equal to seven. But let's test if that's true. Let's do three to the power of 1.77. Well, it doesn't give exactly seven. It gives very close. The reason it gives very close is because I rounded it, okay? I'm just gonna move some of this across so it's a little bit less busy. Okay, so this next one, we're actually saying, what is the power of five that gives me 0 0.3? Well, Five to the power of something is giving me 0 0.3. I want you to try and predict what this will be before we type it into the calculator. Well, five to the power of one is five. And five to the power of zero is one. So hopefully that's gonna give you a hint. I'm expecting there to be a negative number for this one. Let's see what it is though. So I'm gonna type this in. I'm gonna put the base is five and I'm gonna put 0 0.3 and I get negative 0.75 to two decimal places. So we can have these negatives coming out of logarithms. You just can't put negatives into logarithms. So should we actually just test it and see if it's if it works? Let's do five to the power of minus 0 0.75. Let's see if we get a 0 0.3. So we'll do five to the power of 0 0.75. Um, I didn't put the minus in there, I was wondering why that wasn't right. 5 to the power of minus 0 0.7, yeah, we get pretty close to 0 0.3. Obviously, if we didn't use the rounded version, if I put in the original thing, we've got log base 5 of 0 0.3, we're going to get exactly 0 0.3. I actually just wanted to compare this to one of these rules that we've got here. This is identical to this bit that we've got. Do you see that? The A is like the 5 and the x is like the 0 0.3. So there it is in practice. Okay, now we're gonna talk about some other bits here. So there's this thing that we've got, this thing that says ln. Well, ln, sometimes people say ln, I say ln. ln is the natural log of x, and it literally stands for, l stands for logarithm, and n stands for natural. So it's the natural logarithm of x. What it actually means is it is the log to the base e, i.e. this is the inverse of e to the x. So ln x is the same as log base e of x. ln x is the same as doing log base e x. So there's Euler's number that's come back in again. So we're now saying for this one that we've got here, we've got ln of 10. We're saying e to the power of something, because the base here is e, is 10. So we're really saying this is like 2.71 something, isn't it? Or 2.78, 2.7 something to the power of something is 10. Well, I'm guessing that it's probably going to be somewhere between, I don't know, 2, 3 or 4, something like that. 
So let's try and type in LN. Now LN, we actually used it for the um, E earlier for the shift version. So I'm going to press LN and we're going to say 10. And it is, it's 2.30. So it's going to be 2.30 to two decimal places. So what this is actually saying is that e to the power of 2.30 is going to be roughly equal to 10. Let's see if that's right. e to the power of 2.30. Yeah, it's roughly equal to 10, but there's been some rounding there. This one we could do with a calculator. I don't even know if we're going to need this. We're saying ln e, ln of e. Well, this is actually saying it's got a base of e. So e to the power of what gives me e? It's just going to be 1. But I'll show you ln of, press shift and then the ln button, got to fill in the power of 1. And clearly, the answer is 1. So ln e is equal to 1. This is another application of this, when the base and the input are the same as each other. So we can now move on to the next bit. Now, I already mentioned this before, that log without a base is base 10 by default. So if you want to use this one here, we're going to say log of 100. Well, log of 100, we actually know what the answer is, because this is saying this is 10 to the power of something, the power of 10 that gives me 100. I know the answer is going to be 2, but I can use this button that's already got the base input as 10 for me and I can just put in 100, so I know that the answer there is 2. Now, it's just worth reminding yourself that you can do logs of all sorts of numbers. You could do, like, the log of 73, and you might be saying, oh, what's that going to be? Well, we're saying here it's the power of 10 that gives me 73, and that power of 10 is going to be somewhere in between, well, 10 to the power of 1 is 10, and 10 to the power of 2 is 100, so I think it's going to be somewhere between 1 and 2. So the log of 73 is 1.86. Okay, so that's how you use your calculator. Um, I like this bit because it's starting to pull together what some of these ideas, how they actually work. Um, and yeah, good luck with having a look at exercise 14D. This is a really, really important exercise.